let's take a look at exponents with negative bases. They ask us to evaluate negative 5 cubed, and the first thing I want you to notice is that we have parentheses around the negative 5. So remember, parentheses are grouping symbols. So they're saying the whole thing, negative 5, is being cubed. So the exponent is telling us how many times we multiply that base by itself. So another way to think about this is negative 5 multiplied out three times, right? So this would be negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. Okay, well, a negative times a negative would give me a positive, right? Negative 5 times negative 5 would be positive 25. And then I'm multiplying that by one more negative 5. And a positive times a negative becomes a negative. 25 times 5 is 125. So a few things to think about here. We do know the answer is negative 125, but even more important than the answer is a couple details about how to do this. Now one thing you might notice is that if we had a positive exponent, our answer would be positive, right? If we were just multiplying two negatives together, or if we were multiplying four negatives together, we would get a positive answer. But when your exponent is an odd number, right? In if it was even, we'd get a positive. When it's an odd number with a negative inside that parenthesis, we're going to get a negative answer. I also want you to notice the difference between having this, right? This is what we just did. The quantity negative 5 cubed would actually be a different meaning than this if we just had negative 5 cubed without the parentheses. Without the parentheses, it would mean we have one negative sign out front, and then just the 5 is being cubed, right? 5 times 5 times 5, which in this case might not look like it gives us a different answer, because in this case we would still get negative 125, but if we had an even number for that exponent, it would still be negative. Over here, if we had an even number for that exponent, it would have made it a positive. So you need to be really careful about whether or not there's parentheses around that negative on your base. <laughs> Same question again. Okay, negative 2 to the third power. And again, notice there's parentheses around that negative 2. So this is telling us to multiply out negative 2 three times. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Okay, well, a negative times a negative gives me a positive times another negative gives me a negative, right? Since we have an odd exponent, we know that that's going to be a negative answer because we are multiplying negatives together an odd number of times. And then 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again is 8. So all together, this is going to give me negative 8. Negative 4 to the third power. Okay, well keep in mind this is the same thing as saying negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4, right? That exponent of 3 is telling us to multiply that whole thing together three times. Oops. That's a 4. A negative times a negative is a positive times another negative gives me a negative answer, right? We already said when you have an odd exponent with that negative base in the parentheses, it'll be a negative answer. And then 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 again is 64. So all together, negative 64. Negative 4 squared. Okay, well this time I would have just negative 4 multiplied out just two times, right? Negative 4 times negative 4. And a negative times a negative gives me a positive. 4 times 4 is 16. So this is what we were talking about earlier when we said if you have an even exponent on that negative base in the parentheses, we'll get a positive answer, right? Because a negative times a negative gives me a positive. Negative 5 squared. Okay, well if I only multiply my negative 5 out twice, right, because my exponent is 2, well, a negative times a negative is going to give me a positive, and 5 times 5 is 25. 
So this one would be positive 25. Negative 2 to the third power. Okay, well that means to multiply negative 2 out three times. So a negative times a negative would be a positive, times that third negative makes it a negative again. And we know 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, or 8. Right, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 again is 8. So we get negative 8 as our answer.